Thank you for joining me for the AMBIES demonstration of accessing healthcare-related AMBIES documents using the AMBIES patient window. First thing we want to do is configure the AMBIES patient window. All the configuration is done in the AMBIES configuration client. We would go to medical, facilities, you would want to make sure you have your facility configuration configured. We already have a couple facilities set up. If you do not have any, you would want to go ahead and set those up. Again, medical facilities, cross facility clinical document tabs. You would want to make sure you have any tabs set up that you want your users to see when in the obvious patient window. This is where you configure the tab name, the tab color, and the documents associated with those tabs. Another thing we're gonna to wanna to look at in medical is medical. The user interface settings, patient window, and then our settings. These settings are important to identify and define any timeout limits, what, how you want the documents to be viewed, um, if there's any type of emergency access and things along those lines. Another step in configuring on base patient window, we again need to go to medical. Contact configuration. clinical date configuration. And from here, you would want to make sure that each of your documents is set up with the correct document date information. And then lastly, one other thing you'll want to look at again is medical and your patient window security and any notices you may be creating. Once that's configured and you've also created an OnBase patient window application pool, there's a couple different ways to actually access the OnBase patient window client. You can access it via a URL link, or it can be embedded within some of the EMR systems available. Today, I just have a link. If you're using a link, you would first be prompted with a patient search. I've typed in Adams for my patient search. I'm going to select search. And then I'm going to get any patients that are in my system with the last name of Adams. I can double click on the patient to select them. I now can see all those tabs I created and the colors next to them. Any tabs that have documents available will actually be visible where the tabs that do not have documents would be grayed out. If I select other, I now see I have one document in here um, as a follow-up type document with the admit date. I can double click on that to look at the document. And it's loading. And there's my document. There are many different things you can do when looking at the document you have flipping to next pages, to the end of the document, and the way you want it to fit the page, rotating the page. There's tons of options. If you hover over each one, it will tell you what those options do. You can then hover back over here where your tabs are at, or you can go ahead and close this window. Either way will work. If you would like to look at a timeline view of all your documents, you would hit this clock here. And now you can see a timeline view. You can click around to see each document. You can move your timeline with your mouse. Zoom to fit. And so there's a lot of different options you can do. You can um, definitely, this is very configurable. It does allow you, again, to have a document list view as well as a timeline view. 
you're able to see documents side by side. Um, and again, this can be accessed via a URL provided to your clinical staff, or it can be embedded within some EMR systems. For further details, please go ahead and reach out to RPI and have a great day.